Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the time varying capacitor. Time varying capacitor. Specifically, we are going to look at the relation between the current I of t and the input voltage V of t. That is the output current I of t and the input voltage V of t. And next, for we will also look at some numerical simulations when the voltage is a sinusoid. That is, the input voltage is a sinusoid. So, for a time varying capacitor, the relation between the charge Q of t and the voltage V of t is given by C of t into V of t. That is, the capacitance is a time varying quantity. So, the charge is equal to the product of this C of t and V of t. And we know that the current I of t is a derivative, is a derivative of the charge. That is, Therefore, the relation between the current I of t and the voltage is given by the derivative of this product. Hence, the current in a time varying capacitor is equal to the derivative of C of t, that is C dash of t into V of t plus C of t into derivative of the input voltage, that is V dash of t. Thus, in a time varying capacitor, the current I of t is given by the sum of these two products. Next for the given C of t as 1 plus cos of 2 pi t and the input voltage V of t is a sinusoid defined as cos of 2 pi t. We want to derive and show the output current to I of t. Let us name it I1 of t which is equal to by using this formula the derivative of 1 plus cos 2 pi t which is equal to which is equal to the derivative of c dash of t which is which is minus 2 pi sine of 2 pi t and the v of t which is cos of 2 pi t and then we have c of t which is 1 plus cos of 2 pi t and then we have derivative of v dash of t it is derivative of cos 2 pi t which is again minus 2 pi sine of 2 pi t. Therefore, the current output current I1 of t is equal to minus 2 pi sine 2 pi t multiplied by cos 2 pi t plus 1 plus cos 2 pi t that is 1 plus 2 times cos 2 pi t. So, this output current I1 of t can be represented numerically by using this MATLAB code. So, for the given voltage as a sinusoid that is cos of 2 pi t, the corresponding output current is given by I1 of t which is depicted here in the first figure. Now when the input voltage V2 of t is delayed as V of t minus 0.25 seconds that is the input voltage V2 of t is a delayed version of the original input V of t and the delay is equal to 0.25 seconds. Then the corresponding output I2 of t is equal to minus 2 pi into 1 plus cos of 2 pi t into derivative of cos of 2 pi into t minus 0.25 that is given by sine of yeah, we have sine of 2 pi t minus 0.25 then we have the derivative of c dash t the derivative of c of t which is sine of 2 pi t this plus sine of 2 pi t multiplied by minus 2 pi that is the derivative of 1 plus cos of 2 pi t is given by minus 2 pi into sine 2 pi t and then we have the delayed version of the input that is v2 of t which is cos of 2 pi into t minus 0.25 so this is equal to minus 2 pi multiplied by and since sine of 2 pi t minus 0.25 is nothing but sine of theta minus 90 degrees or theta minus pi by 2 sine of theta minus pi by 2 is actually equal to minus cos theta so it becomes 1 plus cos of 2 pi t multiplied by minus of cos of 2 pi t and for the second term we have plus sine 2 pi t and similarly for cos of theta minus pi by 2 we have sin theta that is sin of 2 pi t. 
therefore we have minus 2 pi multiplied by minus cos of 2 pi t minus cos square 2 pi t plus sin square 2 pi t which is nothing but sin square theta minus cos square theta which is cos 2 theta that is minus of cos of 4 pi t therefore the final output current i2 of t is equal to 2 pi times cos of 2 pi t plus cos of 4 pi t in, in the MATLAB we can actually show this result as follows so this is the output current I, I2 of t when the voltage input is delayed by 0.25 seconds now we can look at the relation between the input voltage and the output current as follows for the first case when the voltage input is equal to just a sinusoid it is cos of 2 pi t this is the relation between the input voltage and the output current and when the voltage is delayed by 0.25 seconds the relation becomes an ellipse thus for the time varying capacitor the output current i of t is related to the input voltage as follows by this differential equation and we can also numerically verify the relation between the input voltage and the output current by using the given MATLAB code and we can clearly see that the system is a non-linear time varying system thanks for watching